going on. Thought I'd do a video. Gonna be updating my power. Just got a tiny little AGM right there. Two DC XL, just regular XLs, dual ones. Two two K strapped. So I'm wired at one ohm each. Strapping brings it down, so we're at half ohm. Um, the 175.4. I got all DC component sets. The LC7i for my processing, right above the battery there. Um, yeah, so I'm taking this box out. I built another box. I'm not done with it yet, but I'm just tighter looking at it. I want to test it. A lot of bracing in each of them. I'll be upgrading to. This is the JY 80 amp hour. Um, the top of it, obviously, the stock case is gone. It's just acrylic. I bought it second hand, obviously. Um, got a fancy fuse holder from Toolmaker. I'm excited about this. I'm tired of all these. I got a bunch of these crappy ones. I have the other style too, but. They're just junky. They don't hold on the bottom. It's just a tiny plastic piece. These ones are held in like by glue. Well, I guess it's a screw, but it's it's not good. I'll tell you that. But this is gonna be awesome. Each is offset. Got the box out, a little out of breath, but it's out. So, bidding just to test bump the box or take it all out and do the lithium and I'd be relocating the, the two amps and I guess the four channel too. I was gonna have the lithium on its side right here, the four channel right there and that fancy eight slot fuse holder right here and then probably the 2k's on top of the box i don't really want to i had them on each 2k was on each side before but that was kind of a pain i had a it was a pain i don't even want to so i guess we'll just uh vacuum this out quick it's a little dirty still i'm still working on it but I got some new bolts for the terminal. Alright, so let's get to vacuuming this out. Put you guys back up.
test fit of the other box first. But for the love of base. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh no. Let's put the subs in in the vehicular. Wonder if I can get it in from the other side. Well, that's a good one. Wow, look at that. To the whole row, just the Zerg. Can't get down to that last one. Cause when these are in, they don't, they don't turn. So there's one down. Two. This little guy. What do we got here? D975. 35 amp hour. And I'm going up to a 80 lithium. So speaking of that. Yeah, so the comparison. 80 amp hour and JY power. Black case. And then the excess power. D975, 35 amp hour. Still need to run a fresh power wire. It's black, sky high. I love the sky high stuff. All right, so I ended up taking all of them off. I'm just gonna use this. I don't think I'll be able to get that one off because I had these screwed in like this. Box is too close. This is as far over as it's going to be on. But it doesn't look too bad with the gray. I kind of like it. But it's not done yet. And I need to cut a piece of that to have a longer ground because it only went to there. So. Alright, so it's the day after. Testing out this box. Night and day difference. Compared to this other one. Got the double baffle. No bracings. I think that was my big problem. Um, see it capped it on the inside. Because there's the 6 inch PVC coming down from there. But... Got rid of those janky fuse holders and put this in for now. That will soon be out. Got to get the isolator hooked up and then take this back out and finish it. Put the lithium in. I can probably raise my platform up now since I've got... A decent amount of room. I can slide this fully forward. Um, that way it'll give me more room for my amps. Get some C-Flow fans or something. I don't know what you guys recommend for small footprint fans that do a lot of air movement. So, yeah. Might do some videos on uh, these little guys. I don't know yet.